Cameron. Welcome to the Flying 18s video. Anyone who has seen the 18-foot skiffs on Sydney Harbour will understand the pressures being placed on the hull by the 400 square foot of sail they carry and their top end speed of around 30 knots. In this program, we will go to Van Munster Boats Factory, where Brett Van Munster and his team will show us how they turn these materials into the high-tech Flying 18s racing machines. <music> Our challenge of our monster boats is to build boats which are very light and strong enough for the demand of the main efforts to be racing. Once we receive the materials, we set up the moulds into a temperature control room where the carbon and honeycomb paper are laminated. During this process, we laminate paper thin layers of carbon fibre at 90 degrees to each other on both sides of the Nomex honeycomb core. package is then vacuum bagged ready for the oven where it is baked for 14 hours at 100 degrees Celsius. Once the bare hull shell weighing around 20 kilos is removed, we prepare for the critical task of setting up the internal structure and framing inside the hull. This is a meticulous process as everything must be precisely in the correct place. Carbon is an extremely strong material and it doesn't take much to hold the boat together. But if you get it in the wrong spot, it also doesn't take much for it to blow up either. deck are fitted to each other, then when we are satisfied that all the frames are in place, they are glued together and placed in a holding jig. Maximum force is applied in a complex procedure which requires extreme care as it basically holds the entire structure together. It's essential that the finished product is not only light at around 62.5 kilos, but that every piece of carbon fibre is in the right spot. The final step before it leaves the factory is the painting to achieve the smoothest possible race quality finish. After the painting process, the boats are rigged, ready to go racing.
brief look at the process, but now you have some idea of the work that goes into producing 18-foot skiff hulls. The skills and dedication of Brett and his team are obvious. We hope you enjoyed this program and will join us again next time. Bye. <laughs>